Welcome to part two of our segment. Um, this will be a relatively shorter segment because we're going to be doing the Ram Nomi afterwards. Um, but as we said before, when it relates to that part of doing the Devi Puja, you will come tomorrow and um, during the Narati, this is appropriate, you can do it throughout the day as well. But many of us, you know, we work and so forth, we will do it towards the night tomorrow, the evening time. What you want to do, you come, you prepare your offering, you cleanse yourself properly, right? The ladies that are sitting down, please make sure to put on your urni. When you pray to Ma, you do any format of puja, you have to put on your urni to pay respect. Okay? You will come, you will sit. You will bathe Ma. Wipe her, wipe the murti out. Right? Put water on her foot. Wipe her feet out. Take that water that is there. Anoint it on your head. Anoint it with your children as well. Chandan. When you're putting chandan, make sure you put chandan on the forehead, on the arms, arms mm -hmm, on the leg, foot, feet as well. Uh, also remember to give the tiger one as well to her. <laughs> you're going to put the incense there as well. Right? And at that point, is there anything Flowers. Else? Flowers. And then you, you could take the neeb mala. Mm -hmm. Incense. The... You take the neeb mala, right? And you put it around. And like we said before, Ya Devi Sarva Bhute Show is a mantra. If you don't know any other mantra, you can use that mantra as well when it relates to Ma. And make your offering. And like I always say, Puja always comes from your heart. Yep. Right, I agree. That 100%. is something that both of us learned from our parents. Both of us learned from our great grand our grandfather, the late great Pandit Lakshmi Narayan Maharaj, in legacy where we come from. We learned that from him as well. And these teachings that we learn from the senior pundits, that we learn from each other, that we will learn from anybody, shows us in this, wo in this world today that a lesson is always meant to be learned. It doesn't matter from who. It doesn't matter where and it doesn't matter when. And as young pundits too, we are still learning also in the process. But every day, you know, you learn something different and something new. Knowledge is always power. Mm -hmm. You know? Knowledge is power. Gyan Shakti. Hmm? Gyan is knowledge and Shakti is power. That is why this show is called Gyan Shakti because it relates towards our youth. It relates towards everybody in society when it comes to our religion. Because individuals need to make a stand. We need to make a difference. But we need to make an impression. And that is why it's important that both of us have taken over this project. It may be very small now, but it will grow. And it will only grow with the support of us and our belief in what we are doing and with your support as well. Right? In doing that aspect of Devi Durga Puja again, as we continue, you will sit there with your parasad and you will make your offering. You hold hands. You always hold hand like this. One hand on your heart, your hand. other hand here. Right? And you touch with your right hand. Right? And you make your offering to Devi Ma. And you ask her, for your dreams, for your wishes. But most importantly, and I always say, ask Ma to bless you for what she thinks is right for you. Because some of us will ask for the lotto. <laughs> some of us will ask for the BMW. Some of us will ask for so many different things. But what is given to us is given to us for the mere reason of us using it appropriately. So ask her to continue to bless you. Bless your family. Bless your friends and even to bless your enemies as well. Because unfortunately, these negative people out there, they need as much guidance as we need. Right? And it's not nice to say, but sometimes you, you happen to see it on a daily basis. It's a realistic thing, which is why I'm talking about it. But ask her to give them blessing as well too. And ask her to bless the entire universe. Just recently, Panatheman, you saw what happened in Boston very tragic and mm. sad you know yeah it's but it shows us that nothing in this world is permanent but the love that you share that is permanent because even if something happened to me today tomorrow knock on wood the love i share for my brother the love he shared for me the love we share for our parents, parents the love we share yeah. for the universe will always be present because the key to immortality is living a life worth remembering every minute every day that we live is worth something in this universe so never let anybody sway you otherwise and tell you that it's not worth. 
you make it worth something because you are the individual that is there and that is why it's important like i said even though we are talking about the durga ashtami we are talking about ourselves as individuals because it starts from here it starts from us yeah. hmm? it starts from us making an initiation puja is not just about sitting there and putting the supari and putting the kyanfa and putting these things puja comes from within that is a physical part of it is it Mm -hmm. That is why it's so important to, you know, have your mindset, you know, when you go to, to, to do puja, because, you know, if your mind, your mind is like a, a, a monkey, you know, you would think everything at that point, you know, but also clear that mind, clear that thoughts and dedicate that half hour, hour as the case might be, you know, to making your dedication. Then, mm -hmm. as we see Mahesha, Mahesha Sood, he destroyed, he, he did so much, you know, evil stuff and he, it happens to everyone in this world because they have what Maya, they have malice, they have hate, they have all the, these stuff as an individual. But it's how we deal with it as as a person. Then mm -hmm. we could, you know, expand it and and do evil things out there, or we could be a, a human, a, be a gentle person, is according to our, you know, the the yeah. individual itself. Ask yourself the question: Would you rather be a Mahishasur in this world? Or would you try to be like Sri Ram? Or try to be like Hanuman Baba? Or try to be like Jesus? Or try to be like Allah? Or try to focus where our religious, our religion is located. Right? The word God, that force could have many different names. But once you pray, once you believe, and once you have faith in something, God makes it happen. Allah makes it happen. Christ makes it up. Whatever faith we believe in will make it happen. So devotees, tomorrow when you sit and you do your aspect of Devi Puja, remember what I said? You're going to wash the murti. You're going to apply the chandan. You're going to give flowers. You're going to spray incense. Mala. You're going to put a mala. A need mala, if possible. Around that of Devi Durga. If you could put it on Durga, Lakshmi and Saraswati as well, go right ahead and put it if you could take out offerings for all of them as well go right ahead and do it because the more you do is the better for you and you will see when you do that mother Saraswati will bless you with knowledge she will also bless you with the discretion part of your knowledge where you are able to decipher mother Lakshmi will bless you with prosperity but she will also bless you with the mind to understand the aspect of prosperity and mother Durga will bless you with power but she will always bless you when it is necessary to use your power and when it is necessary to stand your ground on certain things. So it is important, devotees, that we remember these things. It is very it is necessary for us to make that indication where Devi Durga, Devi Lakshmi, and Devi Saraswati Ma is there. As we said before, it is Yashtami tomorrow. Sit, make your partner, pray. Pray from your heart, pray from your soul. Make sure that every single thing you do comes from within and make sure it's something that you want to do. Okay? So with that in mind, you know, this is our little indication about the Durga Ashtami. The importance of this, this very holy festival also known as Durga Puja. And it is celebrated throughout the world. And it is something that we have to realize that these festivals are important because these, these festivals carve our identity. They represent who we are and what we are. Right, Pandit Naman? Well said, Navin. Pandit Navin gave a very good indication. And I hope that, you know, this little message that we, you know, give to everyone that they put it in practice and, uh, you know, keep up this good work. I know we have a lot of Hindu brothers and sisters out there. And this is a little, you know, yeah. indication to help them out. Yeah, we would also say as well too to make sure to support the different mandirs. Yep. I know um, we have pundits from Trinidad that are here as well, uh, participating in that of the Naratri Yag. You know, go out there and support them as well too. And um, to make make your petition, big, small, remember, God doesn't look at how much you do, right? He doesn't just look at quantity, but He looks at the quality, the quality of your mind, the quality of your blessing. And I want to thank Pandit Himad as well for sitting with me here. Because this is our dream and this is our wish. This is what unity is about and this is what love is about. We have a dream. 
to take our father's name, to take our legacy, to take where we come from, both our mother and father. They have taught us well and they have taught us his values and it is our dream and wish that we will always continue to make them proud but always continue to make our culture, our name, where we come from, our religion proud. Because if somebody doesn't do it, nobody will. The time, like I said before devotees, we talk about things. It's important that we also back up what we say and it's also important that we also do it. So I must say, Devi, my blessings to all of you. My good wishes, I ask Mother Saraswati to bless you with knowledge, Mother Lakshmi to bless you with prosperity, and Mother Durga to bless you with power. But most importantly, I ask all three of my mothers to bless you with the right knowledge to use these gifts. And a quick note tomorrow. When you are sitting there doing that of Devi Puja, especially for the young children, remember to pay respects to your Devi as well. Because Mother Saraswati, Mother Durga, Mother Lakshmi lives in your mother. So make sure that you sit, both your parents, your mother and your father, and your father is Shankar Bhagavan. Make sure you sit with them. That is why it said is Shiv Shakti. Shiv Shakti. Right. So make sure you sit and you pray to them as well. You RT them. You put flowers in their head and you touch their feet. And parents, when your children is giving you that love, Bless them from your heart. Bless them from your soul. God willing and God is true to faith. By you doing that, by you blessing your children, by your children taking your blessing, they will prosper very fine life. So I want to thank you all for tuning into this episode of Gyan Shakti as we talked about the Durga Shami. We will also be uploading a clip very shortly about the Ram Naomi, uh, which will be a little bit of a shorter clip. But on behalf of my father, my mother, on behalf of both of us, we want to extend Naratri greetings to each and every one of you all. And we want to ask Devi Ma to continue to bless you all. Prem Sri Durga Mata Ki Jai. Sita Ram. Thank you. Thank you.